so you wake up in the morning and you acknowledge this is the easiest time for me to get the momentum started in the way I mean for it too because while I slept the momentum stopped hear that know that say that to yourself every morning now I could pick up things I was worried about before and I could activate them again or I could just keep this momentum going so what does it feel like to not be thinking about all the things that you were thinking about yesterday feels a little disorienting at first on the first day it's like walking into the buffet well let's explore that a little with, bit with it's like walking to the, it's like walking to the buffet but it's a more limited buffet that has more likelihood of pleasing me in its in other words if the buffet is vast it might have more opportunity to please me but it might have more opportunity to displease me let's let's say for sake of this example there's more momentum in the larger buffet yes so if you're starting out you're you're still just in your bed and and you're not reaching far into yesterday you're not planning too far into day your your intention is what your intention is to find anything that feels good and just bask in it long enough with bask in it with the explicit intention of law of attraction taking hold of it and increasing the momentum so it's just a matter of finding anything to appreciate mm -hmm. and we would say find something easy your pillow the comfort of your bed the the um, the comfort of the room the ambiance of the room the energy of the room you mm -hmm. might not even want to reach to the person who's with you if there is one because that has the potential of bringing yesterday up <laughs> you want to start easy you want to start easy and and just stay there mm -hmm. until what stay there until what this is good yeah, stay there right. until what all right so and what and and what happened when you consciously acknowledged an emotion of feeling good a manifestation happened mm -hmm. a manifestation happened and if a manifestation happened if you have conscious awareness that something happened then what else is that telling you momentum has in, is ensuing momentum mm -hmm. has begun momentum has begun manifestations are happening so so now can you stay there longer and just what would be the most beneficial then mental stance to take to reach for another thought no that's not your work that's off the that's off the track that's not that's not utilizing this moment in the way that we are encouraging you where the momentum will increase if you just stay there so so what is what's the logic what's the logical way of of perpetuating or allowing allowing the perpetuation of feel did you hear the distinction not you perpetuating you allowing the perpetuation of more movement more energy more inspiration and build the momentum so so appreciation of soft appreciation of the momentum that's already there soft appreciation of the emotion that you're feeling it feels good to feel good you could say it feels good to feel good I like feeling like this I like the ease of lying here I like I like how wise I am to allow myself this moment it's really smart of me to lie here and get off on the right foot today I love knowing about law of attraction I love the concept of momentum I love knowing the well-being that surrounds me I I have so much well-being in my life now you're branching out a little more I have so much well-being in my life now when about the time that the, now friends these thoughts are being inspired to you these thoughts are being inspired to you it feels to you like Esther is speaking them and therefore like we are thinking them but these thoughts are being inspired by the collective consciousness of those of us who are having this conversation here together can you sort of kind of get that as you what we really want you to find in this 
conversation is that the thoughts that are occurring are momentum of vibration that you've already established we promise you that if you can start with a vibration that isn't contested which means it's a vibration that feels good to you while you feel it that it will expand into more and more momentum and it will eventually lead you right to your vortex where everything with every detail that you've been establishing is but in the meantime let's just be where we are and feel the momentum of it so so in very practical terms I've just decided that I'm going to lie here until I feel the inspiration to do something different how about that I'm just going to lie here until I feel the inspiration to do something different and then all of a sudden you want up you want out you want out of this you something's on your mind something's on your mind to experience mm -hmm. you see you might have an impulse to call someone you might have an impulse to eat something you might have an impulse to to take care of something th but impulses will come to you and what you will notice first day you might not even make it till breakfast first day you might not even get out of bed until until things aren't working out very well but by the time you're in the second and the third week of doing this you'll you'll feel the ease of the way your day is getting started and because you've done that now this is the most important part of that because you have done this deliberately you've established these criteria for yourself you're making a statement to yourself and to the universe at large but mostly to yourself I want to feel good today and I mean to feel good today it's an intention that is part of the trajectory that was established before you came into this physical experience so by finding this general decision to feel good today you've dovetailed with the trajectory that you were born with oh that's big momentum you see I intend to feel good today no matter where I'm going and no matter what I'm doing and no matter who I'm doing it with it is my dominant intent to find things that I'm wanting to see inspiration that comes from this vibration of 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 alignment and well-being but it is piece by piece like picking that chicken wing up at the buffet making every decision on my path during the day each incremental decision the positive things that are going to make me really carry that momentum but throughout the thing my day is, this is the thing this is the distinction that we want you to hear by doing that preliminary work and establishing your vibrational climate all of that which that you just said just now will just be flows. it will be inspired in other words feel the difference between I'm going to make the decision and I'm going to receive the decision. I'm going to feel my decision. I'm going to know what to do. I'm going to be inspired to the thought, word, and deed. Because you keep thinking that we're trying to teach you a process so you can get over there. We're trying to bring over there over here because what's over there is feeling smart feeling empowered feeling sure-footed feeling vital and alive feeling relevant feeling happy feeling joyful feeling helpful feeling uplifted feeling brilliant feeling tuned in feeling the extension of source feeling co-creative partnership with source feeling adventure feeling knowing in other words oh adventure and security coupled together ooh, what a delicious moment in time that is you say yeah we know we're out there a bit we know we know that we really pushed the limits of your willingness to stay with us on this pursuit of vibrational understanding but you got there you did you got there and what's going to surprise you what is surprising you is how simple the practical method is in order to tap you in to the genius and the brilliance and the expansion that you thought would require so much more the PhD of deliberate creation <laughs> lies in how willing you are to get off on the right foot vibrationally every day Esther said to us after she'd been into this a while because we we kept saying to her well there's always tomorrow which was really annoying to her because she has books and books that we've written with processes about what to do when you finding some negative emotion 
And she said, Abraham, I refuse to accept that I have to wait until tomorrow to feel better. Well, isn't that a clear moment? Isn't that a step for a moment? Isn't that a, I'm not going to be mad at myself anymore about mm-hmm. this negative situation that I've created? And now what? Now where will I go from here, you see? Yep. Yeah, really good. Really good conversation. Something Great, more? Great, thank you. No, that's good. Thank you. Yeah.